Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Beast World tonight. I'm Lexus Chan. It's my honor to be tonight's MC for you. Thank you so much for joining today's sharing. Before starting tonight's sharing, may I ask you some questions? Do you want the cell of your body, which is five to 20 years younger? And do you want to seem five to 10 years younger than your actual age? And do you want your liver, your blood and colon to be clean and healthy? And do you want to have a strong immune system right now? And do you want to have an ideal weight of your body? I believe you want them all. But in the modern lifestyle, you need to deal with a lot of problems. So, for example, the safety of the food, such as toxic chemical and the environment pollution, such as air, soil and water and the bad habits, for example, smoking, alcohol consumption, overeating. And also you face stress, the stress about your work, your family, your relationship, and your, the money, and also your lifestyle. Some of you may lack of sleep and exercise. So if you continue in this manner, you might get premature aging and it will cause disease and eventually will kill you. So in current time, you will always talk about, we'll always talk about detoxification, but detoxification is real or fake? This is a question. Uh, now let's invite an expert from Australia who have more than 30 years experience in anti-aging researching. And this gentleman is also a member of Beast World Smart Lab panel. So let's welcome Dr. Fernando Cortizo. Hello, Dr. Fernando. Okay, yeah, I can hello, hear you now. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Dr. Fernando. Thank you so much to take the time and to uh, give the sharing tonight. And um, this week is very, very important. It's about the detoxification. So uh, if all our audience who have some question during Dr. Fernando's sharing, please leave your question in YouTube. And then after Dr. Fernando sharing, we will have a question and answer session. And then we will pick some question to uh, send to Dr. Fernando and Dr. Fernando will help to answer all your question and give you more information. Okay, so uh, thank you so much, Dr. Fernando. Uh, we cannot wait anymore. Please start your sharing tonight about detoxification. Thank you so much uh, for inviting me tonight. I'm very, very happy to be here. Uh, welcome everyone. And I, I tell you that tonight we're going to be covering some really exciting information. I mean, at least it's exciting for those people who want to know about detoxification. Uh, it, you know, detoxification is a very, very controversial topic. And I'll, I'll explain to you why that is. Uh, uh, you know, we have realized for a long time now, after many years of work in this area, that detoxification is very much part of the aging process. And what we see is two different things. We see uh, that the aging process increases or loses our ability to detoxify and detoxification loss increases our aging. So it is in fact what we call a vicious circle. The more loss of detoxification, the more we age. The more we age, the more loss of detoxification. And I'm gonna to explain to you why this happens. I hope you can hear me well. Uh, I'm gonna be sharing with you some uh, uh, two slides for, to help us to go through this process to understand what we are talking about. Now, detoxification often it's a very controversial topic, as I said before. And you know, people ask me consistently, is it real? Is it real? Is detoxification a real concept? Or is it just simply a marketing gimmick? 
you know, and often people have concerns that when people talk about detoxification, they are talking about some imaginary thing, something that is not supported by science, something that is not supported by our clinical observations and what and personal observations. So I have to tell you that that there are two very specific things about detoxification. Now, is detoxification real? Yes or no? The answer is absolutely real. Now, is the detoxification plan from a particular product in the market able to be of benefit? That's a different question. That's a different story. Uh, and then I can tell you that there are many, many plans in the market, many detox, you know, everything has a term detox because people understand basically what the detox actually means. It means removing toxins from your body to assist you to sustain a healthy lifestyle, right? And so, uh, so again, I'll tell you that the detoxification is absolutely, it's a real process is supported by science and by research over the last 150 years. Uh, scientists, uh, medical practitioners, doctors, professors have been working, trying to find a solution to increase detoxification because it's real. So let, let's talk about what is a toxin then? Often people ask me this question. So doctor, what is this a toxin? Is a toxin a bacteria? Is it a virus? What is it? So we will define toxin and you will find these definitions on the internet. So please remember what I'm telling you. Don't believe everything you read in the internet, right? You need to, ju to have judgment for yourself. Even the very uh, well-known and extensive uh, 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 websites, uh, they, they talk uh, author with authority and then we know that they don't really have the facts. So this is the, the idea. Now, what is a toxin? So a toxin we define as something that it is an element that can be produced internally in our bodies and which will lead to health issues. It will decline our health. So toxins are elements which are either artificial or they can be natural, naturally produced, which actually will decrease your health status. Now, some of these toxins, now we understand can come from outside and they definitely come from outside. So toxins can have a source outside the body and they can have a source inside your body as well. And then both of them have this specific impact, for example, of declining your health. Let me give you an example. Uh, for example, uric acid. Uric acid is very useful for the body. The body uses uric acid when it's produced internally for certain specific purposes. It uses uric acid to build certain types of tissue. However, when you produce too much uric acid, when your diet is not proper, and then you produce too much uric acid, this uric acid becomes a challenge to your system. Your body cannot longer control the uric acid, so now it becomes a toxin because it accumulates in your, in your joints, it accumulates in your tissue, especially in your kidneys, and it can cause long-term specific chronic kidney disease. So uric acid, a natural product, a natural compound, which is part of our natural biochemistry and mechanism in the body, can become a toxin itself. And other toxins are produced, for example, by oxygen. Believe it or not, oxygen is the essence of life. Oxygen is, in fact, one of the biggest producers of toxicity internally for our bodies. And oxygen, as we use oxygen, we produce free radicals, which actually have a very significant negative impact if not controlled properly. On the other hand, some of the free radicals can be used by the immune system to control certain types of cancers and certain types of infections. The excess of free radicals becomes a toxin for the body and leads to very significant damage. So free radicals cause damage to our tissues, to our organs, and to our body systems as well. So there you have two specific examples of products that are produced internally. And of course, all the external products that we see, we face, we will, dis we will discuss in a minute, you can see that there are thousands and thousands of new chemicals introduced by industry in the environment every year. And then the body will consider many of these chemicals that come in plastics, in pollution, in the water, in the food as a toxin in the future. Now, I have two slides that I want to show you for clarity. Uh, I needed to discuss with you how the toxins 
enter our body. So I'm going to share this myself. Now, uh, I haven't done this before, but I will try for you to, to, uh, to make it look uh, professional if possible. So you let me know. Uh, it's looking good now. Can you see my presentation? Yeah, now it's ready, Dr. Fernando. Okay, very good. So there you go. So the process of detoxification uh, is, is it's very important. Now, let me tell you that the toxins enter the body through three specific mechanisms. There's only three ways plus one more. So, so three ways for the toxins to enter our bodies. First is the lungs. The lungs are a very important mechanism or vehicle by which through our breathing and respiration, we introduce elements, toxins into our body. They are very effective in bringing the toxins and particles from the outside in direct contact with our bloodstream. The second mechanism is through, through our skin. You can see it here, right? The skin is a very permeable uh, organism or, 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 or structure. It actually allows uh, flow inwards and outwards. So you can have outflow or inflow of elements from the environment, creams and other things into, into um, uh, the body itself as well, and almost directly onto the bloodstream. It doesn't take very long for things to move from the skin into the bloodstream. It only takes a, a few minutes. And then we have the third mechanism, which is also extremely important, which is here is the gut and the intestine or the gastrointestinal system, which is in fact 13 meters long. This is where you introduce everything that you eat or you drink into the environment, into your body. And so the food and the drinks that we consume become part of this process whereby they in, being introduced internally into our body through the gut, they actually introduce toxicity into our bodies. Now, there is a one fourth mechanism, which but I'm, we're not gonna discuss because it's very controversial, which is vaccines. So vaccines go directly into your body by injection, right? And so the vaccines, whether you believe in them or not, it's not up to us to discuss now. However, vaccines carry with them many different things that people object to, people have concerns about. Things like mercury, you know, when I was young, that was a long, long time ago, you probably you were not even born then, there was a lot of discussion about vaccine uh, and the use of mercury as a preservative. So, but these days vaccines are much better than they used to be. And of course, they're safer than they used to be. So vaccine is the other mechanism to introduce toxins into the body. So keep that in mind, which is extremely important for the future, especially in the times of Corona and COVID-19, where people are discussing about whether they take vaccines or not. We are not gonna discuss this now, but it's something that you need to understand and to, to be aware of. Now, remember, all the toxins that enter through the front environment, through these three mechanisms, lungs, skin, and the gut, they lead and go directly to the liver. So don't be mistaken. The liver is the essential part of the body that deals with detoxification. So the liver is the detox mechanism, the detox engine of the body. If your liver uh, becomes compromised and you lose the activity of your liver, you don't have very long to live. People that have, you know, as you know, develop liver cancer, they develop liver disease, cirrhosis, and other forms, of, especially uh, hepatitis B, uh, hepatitis in general, they can, they can have a very short life if it's not resolved quickly because the liver is essential for the preservation of life because the liver would actually, and I will explain to you how that happens in a minute, the liver will deal with the toxins and send the toxins from the liver itself into four different pathways. So how does the liver eliminate toxins? After the liver processes the toxin, once they've entered your body, it is actually sent through the skin, to the blood vessels. So the skin, through perspiration becomes a very important structure for detoxification, right? Uh, so when you exercise and you sweat a lot, make sure you remove that sweat. Because if you don't remove it, it will actually be reabsorbed into the body. So it's extremely important. This is something that sometimes people don't think about it or they already know, but as you sweat in exercise, the removal of the sweat is very critical, okay? Remember the sweat contains a lot of the uh, processed toxins that 
are trying to be eliminated by the, by the liver and by the body. Now, the next mechanism is the kidneys. You know, kidneys is extremely important because it actually uh, is a filter. It's almost like the oil filter of your car, right? It will filter blood and it will release certain byproducts of activity, certain toxins. It will uh, remove nitrogen in the form of uric acid. Uh, it will remove urea. Uh, uh, a lot of the nitrogen that comes from protein metabolism are secreted through the kidneys. This is why when you're looking at your kidneys, you're actually looking at creatinine, right? And creatinine is in fact a carrier that shows you how much protein has been degraded by the body itself. And then it also gives you an indication of how much protein you've consumed because the nitrogen from protein have to be removed from, have to be removed from the body itself via the liver and via the kidneys. So anything that affects the kidney activity will also have a very fundamental impact on our bodies. Now, then we have the colon. So how it works, the liver processes some of these toxins and, and then it mixes the toxins with bile. And the bile gets releasing to the colon to form feces. And this is how the, the liver eliminates some of these toxins via the colon. Okay, the colon is very important in that function. It has to function properly. If it is constipated, it's a, it's a very, very serious risk because constipation allows the toxins to remain internally in your body and have all types of effects in your health. So uh, the colon function is very critical. Not only do you have to have a good liver, but you have to have a properly functioning colon to be able to remove the toxins that the liver is sending down your way to the gallbladder. So the gallbladder releases the bile, the bile mixes with the toxins, and then the bile and the toxins together, they gravitate to the liver and, and actually remove as feces, right? So feces are not necessarily uh, what you call a clean uh, element. Feces are in fact uh, full in our day and age of uh, medication, chemicals, and toxins as well. Okay, and the lungs are used as a mechanism to actually eliminate toxins much the same way. By respiration, by exhaling, you're actually removing a lot of droplets of water containing a lot of these toxins as well. So this is very important to be aware of that when you are particularly ill or sick, you should really use a mask for a short time until you feel better, you feel well. But the lungs definitely are a way to detoxify. To detoxify. If you smoke heavily, which we see in Asia, unfortunately, our brothers and sisters in, in Asia continue to smoke, uh, especially uh, in, in, in uh, certain countries where the smoking is, big, is really a social uh, norm, a social uh, habit. And so uh, smoking will affect your lungs, it will, it will decrease your detoxification process, and it will actually impair your body to be able to relieve and to move toxins out of, out of your body itself. So what happens then is that if your liver can handle the toxins, the, the toxins are released if your four mechanisms that we describe here are working properly. However, often what happens is there is an excess of toxins. The excess is very, very high. The liver cannot handle, doesn't enhance the capacity, the functionality to deal with these toxins. And so the excess toxins get stored in, in two different ways. And remember, there are two types of toxins, what we call fat-soluble toxins, toxins that can be uh, soluble, solu uh, soluble in fat. And then we have the water-soluble toxins. Now, both of those toxins go to different parts of the body. The excess toxins, they get concentrated in fat cells. So your fat tissue, when you're overweight, your fat cells are carrying toxins, heavy metals, different types of molecules that are in excess. So when you lose weight, you have to be careful because as you lose weight, all these cells release the toxicity that is already accumulated in there. Now, remember, fat cells can be uh, an exercise from the body to control and to, and to localize these toxins. The body cannot handle them uh, by removing them, but they can localize it and neutralize them. So they actually surround them by fat. Uh, often it happens with bacteria. So this is why you see many of the cysts for example, you see seeds that are growing on your body, in your back, they're like lumps of fat, 
and then when you touch them they're very flexible and they move around a bit so these fat cysts are in fact an attempt from the body to isolate probably bacteria or toxins right so by surrounding the bacteria or toxin with fat cells you neutralize it now the fat soluble toxins can go into your bone marrow in your liver and into your central nervous system now the water soluble toxins can do a different job for example uric acid goes to your joints okay uh, free radicals go into the blood uh, heavy metals go into the joints as well into tissues and to muscles in general so what we see is that accumulation of excess toxins causing side effects and signs of toxicity. So this is in fact, the mechanism of how we can understand how toxins enter our body, go through the liver, are secreted, and the ones that are not secreted remain in our body and they accumulate in different parts. I hope it's not too uh, complicated. Uh, I'm going to share another slide with you and so that you can, uh, we can continue. So extremely important, can you see this? Yes, you can see the next slide. Okay, let me see, I'm going to share it. Remember, I'm not an expert in this. Uh, yes, it's ready now. Okay, so there we go. So what we see here is in fact, uh, uh, I, I just want to, I spent another five minutes explaining to you how how actually this um, how this works. And so, remember the li the liver is the key detoxification organ in the body. Now, most of the people most people don't understand this because they don't really know how the the, the liver operates. But I will tell you, it's very simple. What you see here is that there are two phases of the liver: phase one and phase two. Now, for many years, many years we have developed. Uh, different tests with different organizations and laboratories to be able to give the patients and the doctors an idea of whether their, their liver function for detoxification is normal or not. And through various laboratories like ADL in America and PathLab in Australia and ABC in Australia and all the other labs uh, and Gribbles in Australia, we actually developed this program many years ago. And then what we can do is determine that is phase one and phase two operating properly. So this is what happens, I'll tell you very briefly. So there are two phases of detoxification in the liver. So if the toxins come into the liver and they're fat soluble, for example, and many of them are fat soluble, cannot be removed from the body by bloodstream. So the phase one will use chemical reactions, particular chemical reactions to make the fat soluble toxins water soluble. Right? You understand what I mean? So what we see is the phase one is a, a, a step that allows the fat soluble toxins to become soluble, solubilized, so they can be removed with the blood that is present in, uh, uh, in the blood and the water present in our system. So this, these are uh, fat soluble toxins, which are met, end products of oxygen, for example, uh, uric acid, microorganisms, contaminants, insecticides, pesticides, food additives, drugs, alcohol also. Now, let me tell you what happens here. That phase one has to be in coordination, in harmony with phase two. In other words, that the body is taking this toxin and turning the toxin into a free radical, okay? So the, the outcome of phase one is in fact a free radical, which is then transported to phase two. It is further processed and then release as a water soluble waste product and eliminate it through the gallbladder, the stools and to the kidneys and the urine. So there's, there's a process. The toxins, which could be many of them, the majority of them have to be worked upon, have to be processed by phase one of the liver. Then phase two has to pick them up and then further process them, making them water soluble. But in, the, in between phase one and phase two, what you have, it is an accumulation of toxins that have been processed by phase one and have become free radicals. Now, let me tell you what we see often. We see that phase one and phase two are not coordinated out of 
out of synchronicity, synchronicity. They are not working together. For example, when you drink a lot of coffee, a lot of alcohol, a lot of uh, uh, smoking, and many other things, they phase one becomes hyperactive. It works very hard to get rid of the coffee, for example. And so phase two has to be at the same level as phase one. If not, you will see accumulation of free radicals until phase two is able to remove them, okay? So one important part of liver health, of the health of the liver, is that phase one and phase two have to be coordinated and in synchronicity. So once that happens, phase two will actually take all the waste products, the toxins that have been processed by the two different steps, and actually eliminate it, as we said before, to the gallbladder, mixed with bile, releasing to the stools to be released from the body. And or the bloodstream goes through the kidney, the kidney filters these toxins into the urine and is eliminated by urine. Okay? So this is in fact how liver function actually operates in a nutshell. If you want to talk about, about this more, we can do a special uh, two hour discussion in another time where we can actually look at the specific things that we can do to stimulate phase one and phase two. But uh, with I solution program, we find that phase one and phase two are in fact very well supported so that they can work in synchronicity and they can work together for a successful detoxification. So now let's go to uh, continue with the rest. Um, right. Okay, so uh, we were talking about how the liver process detoxification, and we know that this is a fairly complex process, right? Uh, it's certainly a very important process. Uh, uh, we know how toxins enter in our body, and we know uh, the effect of toxins and then the mechanism that is necessary to be able to deal with it through the liver, okay? Uh, so often people ask me, so wh what are the effects of poor detoxification? What, what happens when your detoxification becomes compromised? And I can tell you that it is very specific. Over the years, we've known uh, that through specific research, especially the research we've done on the, the correlation between obesity and aging, obesity and uh, allergies and acne, uh, obesity and joint pain, we've, we have seen a relationship. We have looked at fatty liver, for example, which is, that's, it's got nothing to do with obesity, but it can happen to very skinny people as well. So fatty liver itself is actually one of the mechanisms by which we see an increase in particular autoimmunity reactions. We see fibromyalgia, we see premature aging. Okay, so the side effects of poor detoxification are Accelerated aging. One of the things we see is that uh, that uh, poor detoxification causes aging. Aging increases the loss of detoxification by limiting the amount of blood that is going through the liver. So the liver pumps very significant levels of blood through itself to be able to detoxify. We have noticed and we have measured this that in fact, as you get older, the volume of blood that goes through the liver decreases by almost 30%. So poor detoxification caused by lifestyle, for example, as fat liver, will actually decrease the volume of blood going through the liver itself and will lead to a much faster accelerated aging process. Other things that can happen is, uh, apart from accelerated aging and fatty liver, uh, hepatitis. We see that often in, in many countries, we see hepatitis A, especially B or C, can cause damage to the liver and cause a compromised detoxification. We see cirrhosis or injuries to the liver, which actually caused by different uh, mechanisms. It could be by accident, it could be physical trauma, it could be alcohol or drugs itself, right? So in conclusion, bad detoxification will lead to compromised health. And then what we see is we see uh, acne, uh, allergies, joint pain, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, we see autoimmunity, we see obesity, diabetes, we see weight gain, fibromyalgia, we see wrinkles, we see the kidneys overloaded, premature aging, we see this disease, and we see morbidity, and we see death as well. That's essentially what 
the research shows. Now, over the years, we have focused in looking at very specific uh, morbidities which affect the population, such as increasing diabetes and fatty liver. And we know specifically that the major cause of fatty liver, apart from lifestyle and diet, is in fact the loss of detoxification. And that has been done in several studies. Some of them have been published uh, to the American Journal of Medicine. Some of them are published in, in Europe, in Europe journals or Australian journals. And if you're interested in some details, uh, uh, please send me a request and I will send you the links directly so you can actually uh, uh, look at it yourself. We don't have a lot of time to, to discuss that at the moment. Now, all these things compromise detoxification and we see that uh, a compromised detoxification is an overriding very common social problem these days. Uh, as we said before, and we repeat again, it's aging, bad nutrition, lower fiber diet, which has now become a major issue uh, affecting our detox function and our gastrointestinal function because the, the food that we eat is in fact, is, is processed, is highly processed and it carries very little fiber. So fiber is very essential for all of this, uh, leading to very bad gastrointestinal health. Uh, lack of exercise, you know, sedentary lifestyle is what we see with people these days, uh, diabetes and a lot of alcohol consumption. Now, often when we go into the marketplace, we see a lot of these programs that are being presented uh, as a solution for this decline in detoxification. So we see, uh, I have seen so many different things that are, they're focused primarily on the colon. They don't focus on the liver, they don't focus on how to deal with liver function and how to increase detoxification in different ways. For example, they use magnesium oxide um, uh, rectally in the colon, introduced rectally uh, to remove what they say is, is, is uh, toxins from the body. Uh, there's uh, uh, many other very intrusive, very aggressive and very intrusive mechanisms, uh, which personally I'm not in favor of, they are not really safe because they cause a lot of gastrointestinal issues over the, the months where you are using this particular form of detoxification. They can be very expensive, right? Extremely expensive also. And believe it or not, but some of the, uh, uh, the detoxification programs create high dependency uh, so that people become dependent on them. Their body becomes dependent on them so they can no longer have a bowel movement without this detoxification program, right? So there's a lot of concerns over the years. I've been asked to be, <clears throat> uh, to give my advice about the use of particular types of detoxification programs. And I've always find that they are uh, missing very important elements and they are not safe, they're expensive and they can cause issues for the user. So be careful what you use out there. Um, it's not <clears throat> something that, uh, that should be used so willy-nilly, so easily, and so freely. Uh, uh, these programs have to be uh, further evaluated for safety and efficacy as well. Now, often people ask me, what is the safest and most effective way then? What, what would you use, right, to actually have a proper uh, uh, detoxification program? So I, I always say that the most significant thing is that if you cannot escape the toxins, which many of them we cannot escape. We have to have a body working in a particular way to be able to handle the detoxification process. More importantly, to support that liver function. Now, often when you use certain compounds for, to support the liver, it can be a two-edged uh, sword. So I always focus on the right nutrition. I always focus on what elements that the body needs to, to take through nutrition that which will facilitate detoxification. What makes detoxification easier to happen and to, more, to be more effective? And we know that working uh, with fiber, for example, has been one of the most successful ways of dealing with the questions about detoxification. So over the years, uh, specifically concentrating on obese teenagers and diabetes and the emergence of diabetes, we found that by using uh, a good level of fiber in dietary programs that we can stimulate the liver function to a much more successful level. We can actually create or recreate a proper gastrointestinal function. 
and actually, which actually leads to a much more effective detoxification process. Better control of diabetes, better control of obesity in teenagers, and also better prevention for several diseases, especially cancer. So many of the research that was done over the years, uh, starting about 30 years ago, was focusing on particular types of fibers, which actually we found were able to, to prevent in, in a large group of people to prevent certain types of colon cancer. So by leading in that research, we found that using particular fibers can actually help people not to develop colon cancer. And so we, we reasoned then that by using that fiber as an approach, as a preventative approach, we can actually lead to better health for the individual and also improve detoxification, which was in fact the answer to that problem. So the significant research, my advice is that we target particular dietary programs and intakes of certain products, which actually will assist the, fun the liver function and will assist gastrointestinal function. So often uh, uh, people ask me a question, what is the most effective system? Which one? And I would say the one that, that doesn't concentrate on, on the symptoms. Any medical program, any nutritional program, any supplement that deals with symptoms is not worth the money, okay? So the most significant program that we have is a program that would actually concentrate addressing the actual causes of the loss of detoxification and not addressing the symptoms, right? And so that's why we concentrate in the eye solution program. The eye solution program concentrates specifically on the causes of, of the loss of detoxification. And I can guarantee you that, in fact, by looking, doing specific investigations and research, we know that using a certain approach will give us better success. Now, for example, the ISO dietary fruit juice that we would like to, to talk to you about tonight, in fact, works very much in that way. It has certain features that allows the dietary fruit juice to be greatly successful in, in supporting detoxification function. And these are, uh, uh, we, we, we call this the three C of detoxification, which are cleanse the liver, cleanse the blood, and cleanse the colon. You saw before with the presentation that I showed you is that the liver is critical, the blood is critical because it transfer all the, the toxins from the liver into the organs that will release it from the body and the colon, which is one of the major vehicles of of escape of these toxins and removal of these toxins. Now, the dietary fruit juice is a very interesting product. Now, over the years, I've actually looked at a multitude of these products. I've looked at very significant number of these products. And I tell you that this one brings together some very important and very unique properties which are uh, worth considering and worth looking at. Now, the dietary fruit juice has a combination of tropical fruit juice powder, uh, you know, pomanox or pom pomegranate powder, which is a very potent antioxidant. But more importantly, it has a combination of fibers uh, of what I call the three specific types of fiber that we need for proper gastrointestinal function. Now, these fibers are sun fiber, uh, uh, fiber sole, and we use psyllium husks together in a combination which allows the fiber to perform this function of stimulating detoxification successfully. Now, let me explain to you how this is. Fibers can be of two different forms. There's soluble fiber and there is an insoluble fiber. So you should have a little bit of both, a combination of soluble fiber and insoluble fiber, okay? Now, in the dietary fruit juice, we have sun fiber, which is water-soluble fiber, 100% water-soluble. We also have fiber salt, which is a also a low viscosity soluble dietary fiber, but is resistant to digestion. And so fibrosol resists digestion. Therefore, it creates the bulk of fecal matter and allows for greater regularity. In other words, it will assist you in having a more regular gastrointestinal function and create fecal matter in a much more efficient way so that it can be released from the body and eliminate the problem with constipation. Now, psyllium husk, psyllium husk is an, an amazing uh, fiber which 
I always call the grandmother of all the fibers. And it's in fact the one that was originally researched in several studies. And one of the studies uh, that we saw was how piscinum husk can actually restore gastrointestinal function by inducing the creation and the increase of the proper gastrointestinal cells on the lining of the intestinal system. So what piscinum husk does is apart from creating fecal matter more efficiently, uh, uh, reducing uh, absorption of, of sugar, uh, allowing sugar to bypass the body and be released from feces, it also stimulates the gastrointestinal system in developing cells on the walls of the gastrointestinal system, which are actually healthy. And so in that regard, in that way, and in this mechanism, preventing many of the potential developments of colon cancer. So these three fibers are in fact, what we call a multi-fiber source system, okay, which has very significant benefits. And the benefits are uh, that they bring about a control of uh, detoxification and increasing detoxification by increasing the function, I dare say, of the liver, by increasing the flow of toxins through the blood and the release of toxins from the blood, and also by restoring gastrointestinal function, which has in itself an extremely important and very successful mechanism to improve human health. In the future, we are going to be talking a lot more about this because we know that the colon, it is the key to bringing about successful health for humans and individuals uh, in the world. Now, we also have uh, international certification, which shows that the multi-fiber source blend, as we call it, or the multi-fiber -sor multi source system, which is the ISO system, uh, it's free from heavy metals, free from bacteria, uh, has very little or no gluten, and it is actually certified as having a very low GI. And the very low GI, glycemic index, it's extremely important for diabetics, so it's diabetic friendly. So I will tell you that uh, coming to the end, I don't want to extend this because it's going to go for too long, but I highly recommend the dietary fruit juice. Uh, it has everything that I think that I want to help people to restore gastrointestinal function, to improve detoxification. It's a very uh, uh, strong proponent, a very strong product to assist us in the quest for anti-aging strategies. It will help us by controlling detoxification to achieve our anti-aging targets and actually make our bodies uh, to be and to function in a much uh, younger uh, way and a much better way than we are used to. So I highly recommend it. And please, if you have any questions, make sure that we have time, uh, you have, or you make the time to send to us, uh, to our, our guests, uh, our hosts, and then we will actually provide you with the answers. Okay, any questions? Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Fernando, yeah, for your today's sharing. So uh, detoxification is really, really important, uh, especially as Dr. Fernando mentioned, who have the bad habits. So uh, it's also uh, very important for the one who want to be, uh, want to start the anti-aging, right? So uh, please start now, detoxification, very important. So, um, now is the uh, question and answer session. So I will pick some of the question and to ask uh, Dr. Fernando. So let's see the first question, okay? So uh, first question, okay. Why do the talks needs cut out gluten for well, It's very specific, okay. Uh, please, Dr. Fernando. So the question is, uh, why uh, detox? Why do detoxification needs to cut in, uh, out gluten? gluten? Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. know, glu gluten has a, a, a <laughs> has a long story. It's an amazing exposure in a in a marketplace. Uh, people have been talking about gluten for so many many years. In fact, I have to tell you that myself, uh, I was diagnosed uh, with celiac disease when I was mm -hmm. one year old, and then in those days we didn't have anything like we have today to be able to understand what I was saying. So I have chronic diarrhea, I had uh, gastrointestinal pain, stomach pain, gas, you know, I was very, very, very sick boy. And so 
which is the only time I have ever been to a hospital, in fact, when I was one year old, uh, but gluten was the key. And then what happens over the years now is that gluten has been shown to trigger particular uh, immune, autoimmunity and reactions in people. So there's a whole industry now that is geared to removing gluten from food, removing gluten for, from you know, drinks, from, from, from uh, food products, uh, from flour, I mean, imagine. But let me tell you this, I, mean, I have to warn you about this. So gluten is something that you should limit because a lot of people become very sensitive. Now, why they become sensitive to gluten is because gastrointestinal function is not longer what it used to be. So we have seen a decline in the, uh, in the function and the health of gastrointestinal system in people. We have. So you can see people becoming more allergic to almost everything. They become allergic to rubber, to paper, to perfumes, and so on. So the gastrointestinal system is the learning center for the body. The body learns autoimmunity and immunity in general against everything by, by, by the gastrointestinal system. And gluten tends to disrupt this process. So it causes uh, uh, also all types of uh, you know, health issues, side effects, it causes diarrhea, it causes allergies, uh, uh, IBS, you know, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, and we call, it causes all type of problems. Now, let me tell you something else. I have very interesting information. So I, I, I met with a group that was doing research in the US before on gluten. And what they told me is, and it actually was published, you need to find it. Uh, if you want me to find it, I'll find it for you, that in fact, it's not really gluten the one that causes the problem, but something else that is associated with gluten. So gluten is, you know, it's a mixture, it's a protein that comes from uh, flour products, right? It's present in some fruits as well. It's, it's commonly distributed in nature, but it's particularly immunogenic, so it causes some reaction. But there is something else together with gluten, which doesn't separate in, 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 in the preparation of gluten. It comes together with gluten, so it travels together hand by hand, and it's, they believe that this is the, the one, the protein is the one that causes most of the effect of gluten. So gluten could be more than one protein. It could be two or three different proteins together, okay, in a, in a bundle, which causes all the side effects. But definitely, it's very important because gluten, in, in fact, can cause a, a, a worsening of the loss of detoxification by causing irritability in the gastrointestinal system. So it actually shuts down your, your system. It shuts down your system to be able to deal with uh, uh, toxicity, right? Okay, okay. So uh, it's very good that uh, the ISO solution, the ISO dietary fruity juice, we also get the certification is gluten-free. Right. Yeah, yes. so it's very, very important. So you need to uh, get more information from Dr. Fernando for this part, yeah? So uh, isolution is good for you, yeah? Gluten-free, okay. So uh, let's pick the second question. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I, um, what can we do to improve our detoxification? Yeah, okay. Oh, that's easy. I'll tell you what you need to do if you really want to improve detoxification and look young. If you want your skin mm -hmm. to look young and to look particularly young with energy and vitality, number one, take ISO dietary fruit juice or the ISO program together with dietary fruit juice and the meal replacement program together because that will assist that. In addition to that, you need to control stress. So you need to have good sleep. Uh, support your body natural system. So don't resist going to bed before 12 o'clock. Try to go to bed before 12, okay? Control your circadian rhythm, your sleep rhythm, okay? And eat nourishing foods, control the foods in balance. Drink, drink plenty of water, that's very important. And take care of, of course, of your happiness, your personal life, and your emotional needs. And when you bring it all together, you will have a fantastic detoxification. Now, another solution is, of course, is to move to another planet where you have no pollution. Like we can go to Mars with Elon Musk and then we will find no pollution there. But who knows? We live in this planet, we live in this earth and we are constantly under assault. So we have to do these things to maintain our detox. Mm, okay, okay. So uh, besides from all these, uh, you need to leave out the bad manners, right? Bad habits and also uh, isolation. I, uh, the 
isodietary fruity juice will be also your solution as Dr. Fernando sharing in this half hour. So very important for you to consume more iso juice. Okay. So uh, the third question. Okay. Um, how does isodietary fruity juice work? Yeah. Well, it, yeah. It actually, oh, yeah. so so the, I think I explained this before uh, a few times. It's just the dietary fruit juice helps the, to detoxify your body naturally. Uh, and it does it in a way that allows the different mechanism, especially gastrointestinal function, to work properly, therefore causing a, an increase in detoxification. Um, it's particularly important for those people who are on a weight management program that want to lose weight. Uh, it's important to use the dietary fruit juice uh, together with a healthy diet and regular exercise. So remember, there is no escaping this. Uh, you have to eat properly and you have to exercise. Mm. And together with these things, you're going to control your blood sugar, you're going to feel better, you're going to have more energy, you're going to have a better lifestyle, better sleep. Effectively, you're going to be a happier person and a healthier person. Mm. Okay, okay, so very good. So everybody just listen and remember all these tips is very important for Dr. Fernando's more than 30 years researching. So give you these tips. Okay, so uh, the other question. Okay, okay. So uh, can I use uh, cold water to mix iso dietary fruity juice? <laughs> oh, well, I think personally, I like cold water better. I use it with cold water or ice. Mm -hmm. Personally, I don't like warm drinks. I don't like, you know, in Asia, I have to get used to the fact that people drink warm water or hot water, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, but personally, I like cold drinks. I like icy drinks. So yes, you can. You can use cold water or add some ice, you mix in, and it can give you a better taste. Now, taste is something, I particularly love the taste. I like this type of taste of the isodietary fruit juice. Some people might not like the taste or might not be 100% happy with the taste, but if you add uh, cold water or ice, uh, you can tolerate it better, of course. And uh, we're not drinking this for the taste, but we're drinking this for the success, for the, for the benefits, right? So uh, using ice will certainly help you. Yeah, okay, okay. So this is for your health, yeah, your body health. So very important. Cold water, also okay. Okay. So right. um, uh, I think you have a lot of questions, but uh, today the time is limited. So uh, no problem. We will pick all the questions to take the record, and then we will also send to Dr. Fernando and our product team later, and uh, they will help to give all the answers, and we will share with our branches. So if you have any question we cannot answer you today, just check with our branches. So, okay. Uh, thank you, Dr. Fernando, for thank today's you. sharing, and also uh, the answer for all these questions. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Fernando. Thank you. Yeah. All the best. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, and uh, yeah, besides from the ISO dietary fruity juice, Dr. Fernando sharing today, we also have the ISO uh, dietary meal shake. Yeah, this is a good partner with the ISO juice together. So with these two products, it's the ice solution. Yeah, we design it's a golden formula for you who want to get health, who want to uh, have uh, start the anti-aging, who want to detox and who want to boost up your immune system. And also very important, the weight, weight control, yeah? So just try our eye solution products. Yeah, so it's really good for you and also for your family. We have the 14 days program, maintenance program and detoxification program. So if you want to know more about this, just check on our beeswell.com website. We have this information which can help you. Okay, so uh, right now I will show you some more important message. It's about our promotion, yeah? Uh, in this October, it's the anniversary of Beeswell. So we are ready to give you more surprise. So the first surprise is promotion package for iSolution. Okay, so this way I will show you right now for the surprise. Okay, 
So we already prepared the biggest cells of the year. This is the package for the eye solution. So what is it? If you buy 14 days package, okay, means you buy two boxes of ISO meal and two boxes of ISO juice. You get two boxes of ISO juice for free. This is 14 day program and 28 days program. Okay, if you buy four boxes of ISO meal and four boxes of ISO juice, okay, you get two boxes of ISO juice and one box of ISO meal. Yeah, amazing. And also, we have the 56 days package. If you buy eight boxes of ISO meal and eight boxes of ISO juice, you get two boxes of ISO meal, two boxes of ISO juice, and two boxes of alpha meter sachet for free. This is the combo uh, and the package for you and your family to start the isolation program. Yeah, for anti-aging, for detoxification, for boost up your immune system, and also the weight control, the weight management. Yeah, so this is the first surprise. And now in this anniversary, we will have more surprise for you every week. Okay, so um, now if you buy three boxes of Angel Moon, you will get one box of Angel Moon Dynamic for free. Yeah, so this is the biggest sales of the year. Please take this opportunity and to buy and to try our product. Yeah, this is biggest sales of the year. Okay, so this is all the surprise we get ready for you. Yeah, please take this opportunity. If you have question about our product and our packages, no problem. Just visit www.facebook.com and you can find all the contacts of our branches. And if you have any question, just contact our branches and contact the person who invites you to join today's sharing. Yeah, okay. So thank you so much. And thank you again, Dr. Fernando, thank for you. your thank wonderful you. sharing tonight. Thank you so much. And please just follow this world to know more about our product and know more about the company. Okay. And waiting to see you in our next training and sharing. We will also have more opportunity to invite Dr. Fernando to share you more information based on his research for 30 years. It's about anti-aging and also your body health. Okay, so thank you so much today to, to join us and take care and goodbye. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye -bye. Take care. Goodbye.